Nika Nika Lang! It is I, the Flavors Bee Musician Extraordinaire. You may be wondering what I've been up to lately. Well, I've been playing on Seki Gamma's mod of Minecraft server, playing All the Mods 9 with him and a few other streamers. I'm hoping to do a stream going over some of the things I've done and some of the progress I've made. I did a little mining off camera. But before that, I'd like to talk about a couple of interesting mod interactions I've found while playing. So the first interaction I want to talk about is something interesting with Applied Mechanics, um, which is that uh, you can insert and extract mana from an enemy terminal by left-clicking or right-clicking with uh, something that holds mana, either a ring or a uh, uh, tablet. Um, however, it also works at the Terror Shadow Room or the Elf Shadow of the Mythic Botany, which is interesting because you normally you're not able to extract mana from these. Um, which, yeah, like you can pull mana out, which makes this into a very, very big mana battery. Alright, so then the next thing I'd like to show is a spell from Maho Sakai called Projection. And what it allows you to do is take a tool, whether it's a weapon or a pickaxe or whatever, and it allows you to target it and it stores it on the, the scroll, the stack of scrolls. I thought you could have a whole bunch of them. And then when you use it, it uses some mana and it produces a very low durability copy of it. Now, just in vanilla, but on its own, this isn't too terribly crazy. But in the context of a, a bigger mod pack, this is a little bit, a little bit. Uh, there's a, there's a bit you can do with it. Like, for instance, this elf shadow room we just talked about. I can make a copy of that, and uh, we look at that. Um, oh hey, look at that. It's repairing its durability using mana, so being on lower durability isn't that big a deal. But even more than that, it copied all the enemy key data, which includes its mana. So we have a way to very, very cheaply produce a very, very large amount of mana. So that's interesting. Um, but then, also, there's another mod called Eaglecraft, which allows you to use blood to repair the durability. Which means, again, being on low durability isn't that big of a deal. Um, and then, uh, lastly, because we also have Apotheosis, we can use some uh, books. And an anvil and some obsidian here, and we can even uh, just like that extract the enchantment. I think the other one's right on the other. Yeah, the other side of the wall. Yeah, and we get all of our enchantments back. So we have a way to duplicate mana and enchantments from this. Uh, so that's that's interesting. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Even in vanilla, if you put mending on it, that just repairs the durability anyways. With uh, just a little bit of XP, so... You can just duplicate tools of this. Alright, on to something that isn't tool related. Um, once you get some of the modium, you can go ahead and make a teleport pad, and that'll take you to a number of different places. The overload, if you put the teleport pad in the overload, it'll take you to the mining dimension, which is like a flatland with uh, a whole bunch of resources. It's a really good place for like quarries and mining and whatnot. Um, you can put it in the nether, and it'll take you to the other dimension, which has some pretty tough hostile mobs and uh, structures and whatnot. But lastly, if you put it in the end, it'll take you to the beyond, 
which is this void world. And you might think, oh hey, this would be a really great place to build a mob farm. Yeah, at least that's what I thought, because since there's no blocks, there's no need to build any kind of perimeter to prevent mob spawns. Except one, one little problem, mobs don't spawn here, at least not naturally. And the reason for that is because the biome is the Aldebarium Nebiang, and this biome does not have any mob spawns. However, fortunately for us, there is a mod called EagleCraft, which will allow us to craft biome extracts, which allows us to change the, the biome, which is exactly what I did um, over, over here. Uh, and I used that to make this uh, slime pile, which also spawns the cat. Oh, um, this got um, but slime spawn here, and immediately get sucked off by the narcissus, which converts them into mana, which is why I got the mana in the first place. This is a really, really powerful mana generator, by the way. Um. Uh, we also happen to get a lot of uh, scrolls from the necromancers. Yeah, and that's only possible because we changed the biome to our back. So there you go. That's that's a, an interesting mod interaction. That's maybe not so broken, but it's it's good to know. Um, but I I think that's gonna be it. Uh, hopefully I'll do a stream soon about some of the stuff I've done. Uh, in there, I'll see you then. I think. Bye.